Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon I decided to pay a trip to Sonic. Sonic, the famous home of drinks of many varieties. And also usually cheeseburgers of varying quality. And, uh, well, here we are. Doesn't look like a drink to me. Maybe it is, maybe it's a new type of drink they're going with, but it's a... Uh, from my understanding, a type of burger they have, cheeseburger as a matter of fact. You know, the last time I went to Sonic, it was a bad experience all around, I'm not going to lie. The redeeming quality was the drink, yes, but, uh, you know, all in all, it was a bad experience with the burger that I got. But they're still pumping out new stuff, and therefore I want to do a review of it. And I always say, you know what, maybe Sonic will redeem themselves this time around. Now they introduced this, the Fiery Family, they called it. And in that is a fiery cheeseburger and a fiery chicken sandwich. And this time around, I am going with the fiery cheeseburger. So, well, what is it exactly? I mean, we know, as the name says, it's a cheeseburger that's presumably fiery. Um, you can actually see it's a, a fiery red, um, fiery red sauce, kind of, on the bun, at least. What is it exactly? Well, what makes this so famously fiery is the fact that number one it's got their excellent never frozen quality beef on it also of course comes with lettuce tomato colby jack uh, or actually pepper jack cheese my apologies there jalapeno slices and then they they called it a, a jalapeno spread that goes on it also so it's supposed to be real emphasis on spice um specifically a peppery spice and uh well, we'll see. What we really want to see is, I want to see at least, is is it spicy? And is the beef actually edible this time around? I really want to see that. That being said, that's really what's on the, uh, the spicy cheeseburger from Sonic. I'll quit blabbering and we'll just get to eating. So the spicy cheeseburger from Sonic going in. Yeah, two more bites. And then we're going to wash it down with some cherry limeade. Um, a cherry limeade beverage from them. Uh, I actually think I reviewed this and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good, so that's what I went with this time around, too. Okay. Spicy cheeseburger from Sonic. What, uh, well, what does it taste like exactly? Was it spicy and did it taste okay? First and foremost, the spice, because that's really what everyone cares about. They don't call it cheeseburger spicy. You know, they call it spicy cheeseburger, and not because just, you know, of, of language rules or anything, but they really wanted to emphasize the spice on that, right? It, uh, it could have been better with the spice. The way they play this thing up, you know, they say it's got, and it does have a good amount of jalapeno pieces on it. Take, you know, I'll be honest, it, it does have a, a good amount of jalapeno pieces on it. It was dripping in that jalapeno spread as a nice piece of cheese, but the way they exaggerate it, you know, makes it seem like your mouth is going to be burning, it's going to be on fire, you know. I mean, heck, if, you might even die if you eat this. It might be so hot. That's what they imply, you know. This might be the last thing you're ever going to eat. It's, you know, you're going to go to the hospital if you eat this thing. It's just going to be that spicy. I mean, it's, it's not just a spicy family, it's the fiery family. Um, the way they play it up, it was, uh, disappointing in terms of the spiciness. It's got this spread on it, which the way they describe it as a, they just, they overplay this thing. Um, the spread itself is more, 
it, it, it is spicy, but it's just a mild spiciness to it. Um, the cheese itself, the pepper jack cheese, I know it's supposed to be spicy, but it really got lost in everything else that was on there, so you couldn't really taste that. The one redeeming quality in terms of spiciness are the actual jalapeno pieces themselves. But anyone can put that on a sandwich, you know, it doesn't have to just be Sonic. Anyone can just put some, some you know, piece of jalapeno on it. Um, it's really just tanking the jalapenos, but in some bites you could taste a little bit of spiciness from that jalapeno, but really the spiciness here is a peppery type of spiciness. It's from the jalapenos exclusively, and uh, the thing you need to pay mind is it's not going to be as spicy as they make it out to be. I know there's a lot of spicy ingredients perhaps on this sandwich, but really it's not going to be spice in every bite. It's not going to be overwhelming spiciness. You're going to get a little bit of peppery spiciness, as I reiterate, from the jalapenos, but it's not going to be crazy. Not going to be too much, so do keep that in mind. For the rest of the sandwich, the burger itself tasted a bit better than the last one. But part of me thinks it's the combination of the beef, along with also all the spicy ingredients added special for this sandwich, that perhaps did add a little bit more flavor to it, so that does need to be kept in mind, but... In terms of the general eating experience, the burger did taste a bit better in this one. No, it wasn't perfect. Uh, you could still definitely taste that it was of lower quality, um, that it was most likely frozen, you know. But it was a, a juicier burger in this one. It was a bit more flavorful. But again, I think it has to really play into the fact of all the spicy ingredients that are added to this. Uh, that really does give it more flavor there. Uh, the lettuce is there, just adds some little moisture to it. The tomato seemed a little bit off. I don't know why they put it on this, just for decorative purposes, but it didn't really work with with uh, that spicy spread that they put on it. But, you know, you, you couldn't taste much of that in the first place, so that's that's that. Um, but all in all, let's see the price here. It was uh, $4.39 for this. I think this is more of a $3 sandwich, to be honest. And you know what? It's not the worst tasting thing in the world. I could eat this up, but am I going to be extremely, am I going to say, you know, this was, this was excellent, this was a, an excellent $4 well spent? I would not say that. I think they could really rework these formulas, perhaps with their spicy spread, make it a bit more spicy, um, remove the tomato, or as I said, if they, you know, engineer the spread uh, to make it better, perhaps it'll go with the tomato, and uh, maybe that may make it a bit of a better sandwich. I call it mediocre. It's not the best, it's not the worst either, but it's definitely not the best. That being said, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the Fiery Cheeseburger from Sonic? Out of 10, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to give this a 6.2 out of 10. Um, it needs some work. It's edible, but it needs some work. Thank you for listening, and take care.